How you going? My name's Sam. This is my new tray setup on my 80 series. When I first got the car, it just had a flat tray on it. So I just took the canopy off my old Hilux and bolted it on the back. It actually fitted up all right. But then the whole point of having a single cab was to have a bit more room on the tray and it just wasn't quite doing it. So I ended up making a frame up and winch the canopy on and off the tray and just bolted a toolbox down there. So when I'm running around, just like work and everything, just have the toolbox on the back and we used to just winch the canopy back on when we're going away and stuff like that, quite annoying. Then I moved out of home and we didn't have the room and where I was winching it on and off, it was like a retaining wall. So I didn't have that facility sort of thing here. And then me and Jess got our dog Diesel and he didn't have room in the, in the car or on the tray or anything. So had to put the thinking caps on and start thinking up a new setup. So with the new one, the main things were wanted to keep the rooftop tent and we had to make room for Diesel. But we also used to have to take the camper trailer away every time we wanted to take the kayaks with us. So I wanted to have the kayaks up on the top and have, I wanted to keep a big open tray section for like getting firewood on the weekends and everything. So with all that in mind, it literally took half a year to a year of just planning, just drawing up all different designs and everything. And then finally figured out what was what I thought was gonna work out. Took it down to my friends at Razzler and we started cutting up the old tray and it is what it is now. So the biggest problem that I had to do with this whole tray was actually the space. Even though it's a single cab, the way, because of where it's chopped, it's actually, the tray is actually not as big as what I would assume it would have been. It's actually only two meters long, which when you compare it to a normal single cab tray, they're about 2.4. So trying to fit the dog box and the rooftop tent and spare wheels and everything, that was becoming a pretty big issue. So we had to come up with a really creative way to make the spare wheels fit in because I didn't want them hanging off the back because it would just look too long. And we couldn't shorten the dog box anymore because the fridge wouldn't fit in. I even had to buy a new fridge to make all this work. So literally every millimeter of this tray has been measured like 3,000 times to make sure everything that I have actually fits, even down to this fridge in here, fitting underneath the rooftop tent and everything. But it's turned out awesome and I'm stoked with it. So one thing with this canopy compared to my old canopy is, well, obviously there's not as much room in it, but I still need to fit all the same amount of stuff in there. So I was just toying up with ideas like, do I get a drawer, pull, like drop down slide and everything to fit all the tools and the fridge in. And then I saw on Facebook, someone bought one of these Ingle uh, drawer fridges. So it's actually, turns out to be pretty much the same price as like a drop down slide and it's a drawer and everything just seems to fit heaps better. So the box was made perfectly designed just to fit it in between the gas struts and everything. And then keep all the tools up on top of the fridge on a platform. In the canopy, we have the 30 litre drawer fridge from Ingle. And then tucked away in the back corner, I got my big third battery in there with the C-Tech unit charger all tucked away behind everything, all out of the way. And then connected up to that on the top, just got a big solar panel, keep everything all powered up. And then the other side's just a big open spot for diesel so we can have his bed in there. And just, if he's not coming, we just put all our jerry cans and everything that's pretty gross in there. So with everything being all crammed in so tight, I really wanted the rooftop tent to fold out the side, but the way it all measured, it would hang, I think it was like 60 mil too much off the back. And I really wanted the roof rack up there to have the, the kayaks up there. So I've had to make the rear ladder rack just removable, so it will just fold out the back when we get to camp. And because the rooftop tent folds out the back as well, and we can't have the spare wheels sitting on the back, so we, it took us ages to try and figure out how we we're gonna fit them all because I was just dead set on having two and I wasn't interested in having it underneath the car. That does not suit me at all. Razzler just cut a hole in the back corner and turns out they fit perfectly in there, fit perfect underneath the tent and everything. You can still take the wheels out with the tent on and everything, it works out awesome. So in it at the moment, we just got the two 33s. That, that's the setup we take on maturing and stuff. Still manages to fit my big 36 inch spare in there. So I wanted the light bar to sit pretty level with the roof, but then I also wanted the roll bars to stick a little bit above it, just so I could run lengths of timber over the top of them if I needed to. Same with the solar panel. We had to just make double check every measurement on the canopy to get the right height for it because you got the height of the solar panel plus a little air gap underneath it and everything. So everything like the light bar, the solar panel, the tent, even the height of this fridge came into the height dimensions of all the roll bars on the whole tray just to make everything fit. So I really wanted the tent removable because the only time I actually really use the tent is when me and Jess go away sort of thing. Like in all of the other videos that you would have seen like the recent trip to Big Desert, the tent's not on there because 
I don't need it, just needed swag. And I wanted it like that just for daily driving purposes, just like access getting into the tray, because as you can see, it does compromise space a little bit. But also when we're doing like more hardcore four wheel drive and say like out into Langy and stuff, it brings the center of gravity of the car a lot lower because that's probably the frame and the tent together is probably an extra hundred kilos up there. So just balances the car out heaps better without it on. So one of the things with a rooftop tent, like they're awesome and so you have to pack it up just to move the car around. So another thing that I really like about it is it bolts on the little camera trailer that I've, I've built up. So the whole frame, you just pull, pull the frame off this and it bolts straight on the trailer. That way we go onto the Murray for say like a whole week. We just set the camper trailer up and have the car just driving around, getting firewood, fuel for the ski boat and everything. The trailer's a little bit rough, but at the end of the day, with all the spare parts I had laying around, it's only cost me 500 bucks to build it. And it's been sitting outside for a while now, and I just use it for filling up with firewood and stuff, so I need a new, new coat of paint and get it ready for this year's summer trips up to the Murray. So because this car is my daily and it's my, my weekend of trip around Australia, like everything, the tray has to be designed all for just every different aspect, like, it's not just set up for touring because when we go out to Tulangi and stuff, as you can probably see from all of that, it needs to take copper beading. So I didn't want like aluminium, like wheel arches and stuff like that. Even though it looks cool, it just wouldn't survive on this car because this tray is just up against rock walls and in banks all the time. So that's why with my car, I've just got everything just wrapped in steel like, and everything's all connected. Like all the rear wheel arches down into the sliders and everything, it's all designed so you can just like drop into a set of ruts and not have to worry about it, keep all the paint nice and pretty. Underneath the tray, there's a 70 litre water tank. So even the awning, like I didn't want the awning sitting up above the roof, but with the canopy doors, on my last canopy I had the way the hinges were, it was always hitting the awning and you had to have it raised up and everything. But this way I got the doors to fold out from the actual side instead of on the roof and lower them down a bit so that they can all um, open up underneath the awning. Another thing with designing the tray as well, I've tried to keep as much weight as far forward as I possibly can. Like the water tanks up the front of the tray. But one of my favorite things about this tray, it's actually still the original tray on the car when I first got it. It's just that we've cut the whole top off, we've cut all the guards off, all the mounts and everything. It's actually, the only thing still original on it's still just the flatbed part. All new mounts, all new roll bars and everything. Bit harder for the guys at Razzle to work with, but I didn't have the money at the time to fork out for a whole new tray, so they've helped me out a bit. So the only thing left to go on my dream list for this tray is um, just rear winch put in underneath it, which... <laughs> Did you shut up, Diesel? Diesel. Diesel's have to go, gonna have to go outside. Yeah, to go outside. Or he can sit up there. In the tray. In the tray. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put the rear winch in, which I'm finally one step closer to it because the other week I actually bought a high mount, which I'm pretty excited about. So the winch on the front of the car is actually going to end up going in the tray underneath. <laughs> That's funny. Easy. <laughs> all in all, I'm over the moon with how this has all turned out, like all the measurements and everything was doing my head in, but we've managed to fit everything even more than what I had in my last setup in a sort of like a smaller space. I'd like to thank the guys down at Razzla for putting up with my stupid designs and making everything work for me, so thanks guys. That pretty much covers all of the, the new tray builds so far, like the car's not done, so stay tuned and keep watching Adam's videos. If, Keep an eye out for maybe a new wool bar in there, hopefully. <laughs> See you in the next one.